What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, I want to talk about using a Raspberry Pi in your Tesla. If you don't know, a Raspberry Pi is a small computer that allows your Tesla to think it is a USB storage device. I was in the process of creating my own code to do auto uploading when I came upon Marcone's Tesla USB. The neat part of using a Raspberry Pi over a storage device is when you connect to your home Wi-Fi, it'll automatically upload your dashcam files. So for this setup, you'll need a Raspberry Pi Zero with an SD card. The bundle I purchased includes everything except for the SD card, and I have a link to that in the description below. And for the SD card, I am using a SanDisk Extreme. Uh, there are different ways to set this up, as well as more advanced options. However, I will show you the most basic usage possible. Uh, the Pi will upload dashcam footage and sentry mode files to a shared Windows folder. The first part of getting your Raspberry Pi to work is setting up Windows. We need to get a shared folder or location for the Pi to access and transfer data to. So firstly, we're going to create a folder where you want to share the data to, and then you're going to right click the folder and press give access to. For me, I have a user account set up on my Windows server for the purpose of sharing data. You need to know your Windows username and password for the third step in this process. Uh, you need to make sure that the user has read and write permission. Uh, you can click choose specific person and it'll bring up a screen so you can adjust this. That does it for the Windows setup. Now we have to flash the SD card. So to do so, you need to download and install Etcher. There will be a link in the description below. Once you have it installed, you want to go to the GitHub Marcone Tesla USB release link, again in the description below, and download the latest release. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to insert the SD card only, not SD card into the Raspberry Pi, but just the SD card. And you're going to open up Etcher, and you're going to search for the zip files you just downloaded. Then make sure you select the proper SD card location and press flash. On the right side, you're going to see a progress bar. Once it is done flashing, the files will be validating. Once it's finished validating, that is successful, your SD card will automatically unmount. This basically means it is no longer plugged in. Before we move on to the third and final step, which is to edit the configuration file, you want to unplug the SD card and plug it back into the computer so it mounts once again. If Windows prompts you to format the drive, do not do this as you will lose all the data. You need to go to the boot directory. In the boot directory is a file called Tesla USB underscore setup underscore variables dot conf sample. You have to edit the name of this so you can simply right click hit rename, and remove the word sample off the end of the file. When prompted that the file may not be usable, and you sure you want to change it, please click yes. Then you have to edit the variables in the file. So right click, hit open with, and then go to more apps, and click notepad. When you open up the configuration file, if the text is not formatted nicely, you can copy a more nicely formatted configuration text over to your file. In the description below, I've included a paste bin link where you can quickly access the configuration file without having to go through the GitHub repository. You're going to want to now edit these values for your setup. So for your server are the ones you used in step one. Archive server is the name of your computer. The share name is the name of the folder you're sharing. Shared username and shared password is the user and login info for Windows. That login, that user login for Windows needs to have access to the folder that you shared. Then you have to include your Wi-Fi network information, so your SSID and Wi-Fi password. These are the bare minimums that you need to set in this configuration file. Now you insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi and give it a bit of time. It can take up to five minutes. Watch for a series of flashes and then a reboot. Now at this point, you can plug the Raspberry Pi into your Tesla and it should all be working. You should see the dashcam icon. You can save the clips and once saved, it will automatically upload the files to your Windows computer. I want to talk about some quick helpful tips uh, just before we wrap up this video. So you might have to run an extra command. I have it in the helpful tips section. If you're going to do so, uh, you have to use PuTTY or something to access SSH. Uh, if you do not see the USB symbol in your Tesla, it could just mean that you're using a USB cable uh, that is for power, not for data transfer. So you have to use two cables, one for power, one for data, or just get one proper cable that includes power and data transfer. 
There are other helpful tips in the description below. Check those out if you get stuck. Just for a quick recap, you're sharing a folder on Windows, then you're gonna take an SD card, flash it with some software, edit the configuration file, and then you boot it up into your Raspberry Pi. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I try to make things as simple as possible for you guys. Do leave a like on the video and make sure you guys subscribe for the latest and greatest Tesla content as always. And most importantly, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.